Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, January 27th, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. Let's check in with Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Peyton. Sports fans, the Australian Tennis Open has been in the news a lot lately, and while the superstars generally get a lot of attention, two young women have made history for their countries and are getting a bunch of the spotlight. Ared's Zara Safi and Kenya's Angela Okutoi reached wonderful historic milestones. Last Sunday, Okutoi became the very first girl in Kenya to win a Grand Slam Juniors match. The Grand Slam is an annual tennis competition. Meanwhile, Safi also made history on Sunday when she became the first Iranian woman to win a Junior Grand Slam match. Both young ladies have had to work against the odds of scarce resources in their home countries, but they are determined to keep progressing and keep inspiring young people like them along the way. Let's keep an eye on these ladies while they're going big. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is Corn dog on a stick, potato wedges, corn, sliced apples, mustard, ketchup, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bit of a petite, let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Sonia. FSA nights are almost over. The next one is tonight. It's for grades 6 to 8, and it starts at 6 p.m. This event is for information in regards to the upcoming FSA. There is going to be a gift card raffle, food, and two volunteer hours. Make sure to tell your parents. Scholars, you can now join the National Junior Honor Society. This is only for the 7th and 8th graders. The minimum requirements are a high GPA, an excellent record of behavior in and out of school, a community service record, and participation in leadership roles in school and community activities. Applications are due on February 7th. Good luck! Let's get ready for the Glowtastic Glow Party. This challenge ends by March 11th, so let's get those lessons done. I can't wait to get my glow on! Scholars, the Hero Store is open. The store is open from 7.15 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. 7.15 is one of the best times to go because there are no lines. The Hero Store is in room 114. Tomorrow is the kindergartner's turn to go to the store. Try to get there early so you can get what you want. Yo, it was good, Patriots. We're going to have an upcoming car wash for all sports coming we need uniforms, balls, and gear. Car wash is on January 29th, 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. $10 a car. Come on, let's make it a splash. Our Pines Patriots car wash is just a few days away. It's this Saturday. This event will be a great help to support our school's athletes. Make sure to tell your parents about the car wash so we can make it a splash. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thanks, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. It looks like today's weather in Pines will be a high of 79 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Just in case you didn't know, weather high means the peak temperature of the day. In other weather news, have you ever seen train tracks on fire? People set train tracks on fire primarily in the winter. You may be wondering why. Why do they? We have an answer. It's because when people are traveling in the snow, 
Snow can clog up the train switch points. The heat melts the snow and ensures a safe trip. On an even better note, the fire continues to help out by warming the floors of the train. Who knew fire had so many uses? Now let's go to Vani for a Patriot on the Go. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm Vani O'Sign. Now let's see our Patriots answer to today's question, which is, what's your favorite hobby? Now let's see our Patriots responses. What's your favorite hobby? Um, play soccer, play video games, and drawing. Oh, that's nice. Well, let's see our next Patriot. What's your favorite hobby? Swimming and painting. And why is that? Because painting actually um, calms me down and I really like swimming. Yeah, I don't know I why, but I do. I get it, yeah. I like that. What's your favorite hobby? Playing Super Smash Bros. on my Nintendo Switch. And what about you? Gymnastics. And why is that? Because it's fun. Yeah, and you? Because it's fun. <laughs> I get it. Well, let's see your next Patriot. Hi, I have a question for you. Yeah? Well, our question is, what's your favorite hobby? Basketball. And why is that? Because it's like fun. It's like shoot hoops and yeah. So doing your spare time? Yeah, it's fun. What is your favorite hobby? Football. And why is that? Because I like to play football with my friends. Oh, cool. Because you like sports? Yes. Well, that's nice. Thank you for answering. Thank you, Patriots, for all your interesting responses and answers to What's Your Favorite Hobby? I'm Vani O'Sion. Thank you for listening. Bye. Thank you, Vani. Today's birthday boys are Jaden Lamar, Isaiah Anderson, Jose Gonzalez, and Carlos Mendoza Calderon. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Melland, Ms. Carmona, Ms. Onley, Ms. Shadid, Ms. Campbell, Ms. I'm Dinkwa, Ms. Stone, Ms. June, Ms. Blunk, and Ms. Newton. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, who was known to be the king of rock and roll? The correct answer is Elvis Presley. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which U.S. president banned Christmas trees in the White House? Teachers, please send your answers to findsoutrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would love to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!